Don't you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I, I do? I mean... I do, but... I can't remember a thing. They seem different somehow. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful! That is a specimen called Plush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped-off arm is in there, too. Why can't just be lying in a corner somewhere?
Ben. That polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Ah, crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forester Village. You're now fully armed, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Beliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. I can't wait to pay that thing back with interest.
It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha! find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Not now. Let's just not talk for a while, okay? Sergei, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way.
in the actual living f is this? Stop messing with my head! So one of these robots is Ekaterina Nechaiva, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are! I tried to bring Wesna back to life when her brain was literally ripped in half. That's enough, boss! I'm willing to believe that you are acting in my best interest. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sir Ken. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now! The right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to me! Forgive me, but right now they're fighting Jared, not you! You lousy Sergei, piece you don't of shit. Cheriton's manipulating you! He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Volatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. 
Why have you done this? <clears throat> you mother this whole time. I've been quite <laughs> enough of you, Major. Your job is done. <laughs> Three, my boy, get up, get up. What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside. Make way for the next phase of its evolution. Me. Jerison, you're pure evil. What? What are you going to do to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept, and your thinking is limited. You are a human, a species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. Stop, Charity. No. I changed. The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. <laughs>